that confession, it relates to the communication on the day Senzo was killed. It Good. was specific. Good confession. So, in terms of the evidence that we have led in this court, including Kenan, Lieutenant Kenan Holmes, about the section 205 of accused number three, they relate to the incident of the 26th of October 2014. You understand? And furthermore, the confession, the alleged confession, you are related, related to the incident of the 26th of October 2014. You are. And your evidence, together with Mr. Hose's evidence, it, it relates to the communication to the 205s as per exhibit triple G1. And triple J2. So what is relevant in this is that this communication by accused number three, it deals with a communication that at a later stage the court will make a conclusion whether such a confession was was the true reflection of what it was con confessed about. My Lord, I would like yeah, to yeah. object here. I don't know, can the witness be asked questions? Because he's under cross-examination. He's not here to assess evidence. No, it, it, it doesn't help. Because he has been putting propositions to the, to the witness. I'm OK, no, Mr. Gomez, I'm not stopping you from putting yes. that. At the back of my mind, hmm. I yeah. know that section 2, is it 319? Yes. 219, yes, you're aware of what I'm getting to. That's correct, yes. Yeah, that the evidence of a confession yes. by one accused yes. is not admissible against another no. accused. I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm, you're asking this witness to comment on an alleged allegation which was made by one person who deposed to a confession. Alright, I understand. Are you with me? I'm with you. <laughs> my Lord, may I proceed? Yeah, yeah, may fine. I, uh, fine. Um, rephrase or deal with other aspects? No, no, I'm not stopping okay. you. No, no, I understand. I, I'm with you, my Lord, especially in relation to 219. Yes. But I, I, I'm concerned about the relevance of these 205s by the state. But I'll leave it for argument. But let me just put it this way. You gave evidence in terms of section, in terms of exhibit triple G1, where you talk about the towers. And it is your evidence that that number 072 766. According to the evidence you gave in terms of the distance and the towers, you said that number at that time, uh, I think it was, wait, I'll just confirm. May I just confirm with my lord? Why is Mr. Gomez is confirming, my lord? I think I've got a wing from a case number three that he wants me to get. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Just a second, madam. from the time Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to disturb my colleague when he's still busy. Can I just ask for a Five minutes adjournment. It's five to one now. We oh, just right. consult yes, yes. together with mm -hmm. the, our clients. Just five. Five minutes. minutes to one. It's five minutes to one now. Okay, okay. we can adjourn until what time? Until two o'clock. Two o'clock, my lord. You are there at two. Yes, my darling.
So you know what? We're going to do things a little, a little differently today because what? Ngome Zulu came with a surprise vault, okay? Ngome Zulu, suddenly, you know, Sibanda was like, I'm done with my boring towers and 205s and everything else. After recess, I decided, you know what? It is pointless. During that time, during recess, he probably Sibanda used it and Baloi used it to try and see how their angles are going to work with the 205s. And they said, you know what? Let's wrap it up. Let's give it up. This is it okay but Ngome Zulu one thing that he did <laughs> it's incredible you can tell the difference between those that are paid by the state aka there's an unlimited fund they can just keep wasting taxpayers money and Ngome Zulu who's being paid by a keys number one's a family Omozi Sivia Ngome Zulu went in and out okay Ngome Zulu this is not what we expected I'm not sure if I want to complain or if I want to ask to speak to the supervisor because Ngome Zulu came in and he did his cross-examination and did not even bother with anything that Pinky said over the last few weeks <laughs> he absolutely did not he just said, you know what, Pinky Darling, I'm going to need you to read the statement, okay? I am going to need you to read Captain Mteto's statement. Here it is. Sorry, everybody, I don't have copies. Uh, Pinky, please knock yourself out. Pinky says, where would you like me to read? Did you want me to read everything? Everything. Read it all into the record. And you know, when Ngome Zulu, you just never know where he's going with anything. But I have to tell you, that was so satisfying <laughs> it was so satisfying i can't even believe that ramasapile decided that was a great time to fall asleep because that was a great work of art that he should have been paying attention to but i digress let's go back pinky reads through the record she reads the numbers okay she tells us about kelly kumalo's numbers she tells us longway's number zandi kumalo's number uh gladys's number who else was there dumelo's number mtogo's number all these numbers and i said to myself damn you ngome zulu this whole time this whole time we've been listening to pinky and not one time did we think Wait, where are the section 205s for Odumelo? But yeah, that did come up in the comment section. And let me let me take that back. That did come up in the comment section. Ngome Zulu just said, I don't know what we just spent the last few weeks doing. I I just want the 205s for the others in the house. Why were you being selective? And by the way, guys, did anybody else notice? Mandisa Senzomeiwa's wife number was also in that letter from Captain Mtetwa. Now, please tell me why Baloi and Sibanda decided to skip through all those other 205s and just go for Kelly Kumalo's. Mm -hmm. The same Kelly Kumalo that they do not want to call to the stand as a witness, as an eyewitness. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted to use her as a scapegoat for the Anganegwane, okay? As the mastermind who called who? Accused number three. <sighs> you know what else was so satisfying? is when Pinky was forced into saying yes every time Gomez Zulu was pointing out a point that your entire exercise was rubbish, okay? Why did you not do the numbers? I wasn't, I only did the parts that I was asked to. Oh, Pinky, Pinky, Pinky. I bet you what she did during recess was study those section 205s, make sure she knows everything. I bet you she wanted to make sure, see she came back with a new word, she came back with the word radius. I bet you she also wanted to make sure when Ngome Zulu asked her a question, she's ready to answer right away. But Ngome Zulu asked no question that she expected. None. And if you listen to it again, I'll do a separate video where I'll do the whole session the whole Ngome Zulu session, but if you listen to it again, you will hear how Pinky was struggling. Her confidence went from a hundred while speaking to Judge Rata and Spanda to negative 50. She, she couldn't do it. And so she decided, you know what, I'm going to be smart. Tell me what page, okay? Tell me what page of the 4,000 pages you're referring to. And I'll go check the number and then I'll tell you whose number it is against the record documents. And um, Gomezulu said, it's okay, don't worry, sweetie. Don't worry yourself too much, okay? I am being paid by the hour. 
you've said enough of what I need. Wow, guys, I, I was thoroughly impressed. I didn't even get time to make my popcorn. Like, we had been anticipating Gomez Zulu for so long, okay, that he just came in and lit up the room in and out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it should be. Not this time-wasting business, okay, that the state was doing. The state runs the show. They have the, what do they call it? Dominus Litus. <laughs> but yeah, this exact cross-examination should definitely go in the books. It should be in the books. They should study it. It was just brilliant. Brilliant. But one thing that Ngumezulu did, which I, I can't forgive him for it. I cannot forgive him for it. But you know what? I must be fair. I will comment on it. Gomez Zulu literally mentioned <laughs> Chikotwala and I said, don't do it. I literally was screaming like, oh no, we cannot handle Chikotwala right now. He's going to lose it again. But he literally cleared Longwetwala of any wrongdoing. And he said the number belongs to Chikotwala. If the number belongs to Chikotwala, how are you able to then say Chico Twala was in Vosloris. I mean, Longwe Twala was in Vosloris. The number belongs to Chico Twala. And you know what? I absolutely love that because it takes away all those section 205s when they were saying this number belongs to accused number five and number five was saying that's not my number. Gomez would have just literally burned down everything that the state had put up over the last few weeks and I'm just overly impressed. Chikotwala, Ozungome Zulu, what an apology. I said what I said. I said what I said. Chikotwala, Ozungome Zulu, an apology because Ngome Zulu showed him not only that, remember Chikotwala called Ngome Zulu incompetent, but Ngome Zulu showed that he is beyond competent. He is brilliant. He is a mastermind and he can just take one sentence and it can clear an entire case because what he did he cast doubt on the evidence that the state brought against the five accused you know what i've been talking for a bit let me know in the comment section what you think what did you think about it i might be going on and on and on but yeah let me know what you think about it because yeah let me know Type one in the comment section if you were impressed. Type two if you felt it was too, you were impressed, but you felt it was too short. You should have dragged it out a bit. And type a three in the comment section down below if you think he was absolutely horrible and that he doesn't know what he's doing and that Ngomezulu is absolutely incompetent. Yeah, type three, four, Ngomezulu is incompetent, just like Chico Twala said. Let me sketch you in the comment section down below, okay? I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Zandi Kumalo, Ngome Zulu could have insisted on asking for all those two of Fs just to read over them and get to no point. But, but, but I cannot end this video without talking about Ngome Zulu finally, finally addressing the issue, or should I say introducing the issue where it's alleged, right, that Utumelo called um, the Meiwa's uh, son-in-law, okay, called uh, Senzo Meiwa's sister's husband and spoke to him and said, Ulongwe Udule Usenzo Nyeputa. And that's what Ngomezulu did. Like, Ngomezulu just dropped it in there. And Judge Rata, you could see him in his chair. He's so frustrated. He's so antsy. He, Judge Rata was so unsettled. Let me know as well in the comment section if you noticed that as well. Another thing, another thing, another thing that I definitely want to talk about is what Ngomezulu says to Upinki. Which number did Kelly Kumalu use to call Chikotwala? Oh my God. Like I wanted to hide for Upinki because... <laughs> Pinky was not ready for this. This is not what she agreed to. And this is not what she signed up for. And then he says, but you know what? We will get into that. We will get into that. And just when, you know, things were just really, really heating up. Ngomezulu then says, oh, 
Ngoma Zulu then. Oof, I have to see how I'm going to say this really well because I want my point to land, okay? Ngoma Zulu goes into the confessions. Oof, oof. You remember the confessions that Judge Retta accepted? When he shouldn't have? But you know what? Let me mind my business. Judge Retta accepted those confessions and Ngoma Zulu came with gas and poured gas on those confessions and lit it up and said those confessions don't work no problem you admitted them but i'm going to show you now that those confessions mean nothing and he shows he says there is a confession accepted that says accused number two was in com- there was a communication that okay okay let me say it again there's a confession that was accepted okay accused number two's confession was accepted and it says there was communication between accused number three and kelly kumalo <laughs> pinky darling please show us that communication from your fancy tour vibes the vodacom system the record documents four thousand pages you said just tell us where that is and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of those confessions out with the wind rata just gotta throw it out now those confessions mean nothing oh my goodness i've been talking for so long but but one more part one more part where sibanda had the courage to interrupt baloi in his greatness and because what he says can he just ask questions because he's just making statements and i need him to ask questions and Rata says, it's okay. And Gomezulu says, I'm doing propositions. What's the problem? And uh, Judge Rata says, I'm not stopping you from doing the propositions, but I need you to understand. And could, before you could finish his sentence, Gomezulu says, Section 219, where a confession cannot be used to incriminate another accused. And a mic drop right there at the end. And Sholalo comes through and says, Can we take a recess? Sholalo. I can't forgive you for that. You interrupted a man in his greatness. And we're never going to know when Gomuzulu was going to do with that. Because after lunch, he ended it. Gomuzulu is that kind of guy when he's on a roll, he's got to roll. He's got to roll down the hill. He cannot go uphill. He can't do it. So to pick up that momentum that he had after lunch, I wonder what he had for lunch though. He said, never mind. I've already said what I need to say. Besides, this is a stem case. That's it from me today. If you've made it this far in the video, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Drop a heart, drop a heart, drop a heart. Welcome back, okay? Since a year trial is hot in session. Drop a hi in the comment section. Drop a heart. We are back. We are back. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you are still not subscribed, your first time hearing my voice, oh my goodness, hello don't hesitate just subscribe you are going to love it here okay thanks so much for watching you already know i'll catch you on my next upload thanks for watching